I wonder if I can do a review of a playset without having a surface to put it on. Hey! We're looking at this Peter Rabbit Nickelodeon playset today. This is made by Cartwheel. If you live in the States, you will probably be able to still find some of these. Uh, maybe not. Two years ago, this stuff was on clearance when I bought it, I would say. Two summers ago. Yeah, I have the minifigures. I just did the review of them not too long ago. Look for that. But we're going to bring those out to put them in the playset today anyway. This actually showed up in Canada. I saw it in the States, but it showed up about a year ago, maybe, at an off price, which is a TJ Maxx store here in Canada. Like Winners and Marshalls are what they call them here. And I was very happy because we did not get this in regular toy stores. There is a line in Europe as well that the figures are not as cute. They're not as stocky and chunky and hunky. They're more elongated, not as adorable as these ones. This is definitely my preferred style. I love them. This one, this one little one right there, so cute. Look, it just, it looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to use it to take pictures with too. It's a great set. I'm opening it now. Are you all ready for Easter? I don't like to put the stickers on my play sets. I usually leave them off. I like the bright pops of plastic and I don't like to put those extra details on there. Also, you know, you can put them on wrong. They can come off. I prefer not to, but I'll definitely keep them. And that artwork is beautiful. This little card that they put in there is really cute. I have that figure. I'm pretty sure I have the whole set. This is nice too. I always try to use these for backdrops for photographs, but usually they're too shiny. But I'll give this one a whirl. It's a nice one. Furniture pack. Cute. Not nice. Not nice. Poor little bunny. He's in a snare. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Up and down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on his way. I asked this the last time. I don't know if Peter Cottontail and Peter Rabbit are the same rabbits. Kind of a coincidence, no? That they have the same name? Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, Easter's on his way. There's all of these little shapes in the bottom. So maybe that's where you're supposed to put stickers. Oh, that tire swing looks so cute. So many cool features. Oh my goodness, oh I can't. I can't even. Total adorbsness. So much action. I wonder if it points out all of the features on the back so I don't miss any. I should have showed you this stuff before. We've got loading pad zone, working elevator, includes sticker sheet, beware of Mr. Todd, double-sided play, lookout tower. Oh my goodness, look what happens to the tire swing. Oh, I didn't even guess that. Hang glider. That's why there's a landing zone. Look at this hang glider. Look, it's made with sticks and the rope. You can see the blue fabric tied to it and it's stitched up there because there was an accident at one point. So cute, love that. And here is a table and look at that wood grain in the plastic personal favorite of mine. And then these little chairs with little radishes on them. Cute. So cute. So you can set up like a little place to eat for your little characters. So cute. Except you know what? They don't bend. So if they sit in their chair, <laughs> I guess they're going to stand on their chairs if they're going to eat at the table. This is just a really cool detail where they snap this piece of plastic into there and they put a couple of rocks there so they don't do anything. But this one right here in green, where you press the radish, makes the radishes and that little gopher pop up. Cute. And then we have the working elevator. There's the crank and it's on a string, but I love this guide pole that it has here because it always makes it align and it snaps right into place. Do you see that? So perfectly sturdy. And then you can take it down the bottom where they can get in. Cute. So at the top, 
there's this button that you press and it pops the hatch and then that is where Peter or any of his friends can go in here and fly right down the slide. And I'll show you from the other side. Now he's supposed to trigger the switch here when he goes down, which is Mr. Todd pops up. But so far that hasn't happened. So either he's lucky or it doesn't work properly. I'll go down head first this time. Okay, well, Mr. Todd's not popping up, but I'm okay with that. I usually don't like an artificial figure that is a flat, fake figure. I prefer my place that's not to have those in there. So the fact that he's not popping up is a good thing in my mind. Okay, over here we have a telescope, which is adjustable just up and down. It actually, you can see through it. It actually has a hole that goes all the way through. There's a ledge inside here for sitting in, in the treehouse. There's another ledge up here to stand on. It's kind of slanted though, so I would think that you're not going to be able to stand on there very successfully. This tire swing I think looks so cool. I love this rope detail in yellow that they have going on here. But this, it clicks up and then you have a lookout up here so high. That's amazing. Or you can just swing back and forth in the tire swing, which is a lot of fun. Let's see if the hatch can pop them off the roof. Let's say Mr. Todd got up at the top. The bunny could hop on the secret latch and pop him away. No, the spring load isn't that heavy. You have to have nobody standing on it to pop up. And up here, they call this the landing pad. If you're coming in on your hang glider, so adorbs. can have a nice safe landing right here on the landing pad. Very convenient. You could just land on the roof too, or on this landing pad too. There's all kinds of places for the little guys to stand. I gotta show Peter going up in the elevator, don't I? Going up. And look at the cute details here. We've got the steps up the side. So cute, again in wood grain. I love that. Look at all this wood grain. Such a beautiful toy. Okay, now here's a feature that I really like. is the little half door. You don't see this very often. At least in the Americas. We don't have a lot of doors that you can open up the top and then just talk to your neighbors through it. Say, hey, what's going on out there? Or, you know, you're baking pies and you want to stick them on the ledge there. So many possibilities. Opens inward and it opens outward, just the top part does. Look at that wood grain detail on the door. Love it, it's so cute. And the little holes still get out of the windows. There's a lot of fun, there's a lot of play here. Don't think I missed anything. I love trees, I love the colors that they've chosen. One of my favorite play sets, I would say of all time. I also got a Jake treehouse. Let me bring that over. It's so funny because it's probably the first toy that I bought that wasn't a Masters of the Universe toy. It was really cool and what got me was this, how slow that revealed. I thought that was so cool. It was like almost magical. So yeah, another treehouse playset for me to have. I can have a lot of fun with these. These look great together. Same scale figures. Lots of fun. Let me set up the table and chair, of course, down here. I'm gonna keep this door open, let some light in. You know, we can have Callie can come and visit, but mostly we have all of my little rabbit friends. Oh, and he's articulated, by the way. His head turns and his arms move. Just, they can't sit down. There's that little cutie. Look how cute she is. It's probably one of the cutest toys of all time. Just stand her up there in the chair. I think that's how a bunny would sit at a chair anyway. Oh, and here's the evil Mr. Todd. So we could stand him right where the fake Mr. Todd is. From Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, you could stick him in there. You guys might know this guy. He'd love to play in this treehouse. Stick him up there. Again, if you want to see more of the little bunnies, I did a review. I think this guy is perfect to ride in the hang glider. How oh, cute. <laughs> Look how cute. 
is a little peg for a foot in the elevator because they have places for your feet to go into pegs. I like that, especially when you're, you know, holding up a place with your hands. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Oh, poor Peter. <laughs> that looks cute. <laughs>